Nahihirapan pa rin ba kayong mag-solve for the greatest common factor or GCF? No problem yan dahil ituturo ko sa pinakasimpleng paraan ang iba't ibang mga paraan ng pagkuha ng greatest common factor or GCF. Okay, so we go to the first method. Actually, there are a lot of ways on how to get the greatest common factor. Let's start with the listing method. Pag sinabi nating listing method, we are going to list down all of the factors. Remember, pag sinabi nating factors, ito yung multiply mo to get that number. So for example, 12. What are the factors of 12? We have 1 and 12. We have also 3 and 4 and 2 and 6 okay how about 8 we have 1 and 8 we have also 2 and 4 Wala na. how about 10 we have 1 and 10 2 and 5 now let's identify the common factors that they have so meron silang 1 lahat meron silang 2 meron pa ba Yung 4 naman, wala naman sa 10. So, we have only 2 common factors. So, which is larger here? Which is greater? So, we have 2. Therefore, the greatest common factor of 12, 8, and 10 is now 2. Another example for the listing method. How about 27, 15, and 21? Again, we're going to list down all of the factors. Ano yung mga ano ano yung mga factors ng twenty seven? So we have one and twenty seven. Um, we have also three and nine. Meron pa ba? Wala na. How about fifteen? We have one and fifteen. Three and five. No more. Twenty one. We have one and twenty one. Three and seven. So again, let's identify. The common factor that they have, so 1, meron ba silang 3 lahat? Meron. Meron pa ba? Wala na. So, ano yung mas malaki dito? Ito yung 3. Therefore, the greatest common factor of 27, 15, and 21 is 3. Now, we go to prime factorization if you are not still familiar with prime factorization you may visit the link above which is posted right now yan ituturo niyan sa inyo kung paano ang mag-solve for the prime factors of numbers so let's take the same set of numbers para tignan natin kung pareho yung makukuha natin sa other method so the most commonly used prime factors are 2, 3, 3, 5, 7, 11. Ito yung mga pinaka-common. So the prime factors of 12 are 2, 2, and 3. Okay? How about 8? Prime factors are 2, 2, and 2. Okay, if you notice, hindi ko siya inilagay dito sa ibaba ng 3 dahil hindi naman sila kaparehong, hindi sila parehong number. So, ialay mo sa different column. How about 12? Ay, 10. 2 and 5. Dito ko na naman ilalagay itong 5. So, next step is for you to identify the column which is complete. Oh, kompleto siya, di ba? Wala siyang bakante. Therefore, we have now the greatest common factor to be 2. Okay, another example. Using set ulit, 27, 15, and 21. Okay, so prime factors of 27 are 3, 3, 3. To check if your, your prime factors are correct, you're just going to multiply each of the factors. 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. Yan. 15. We have 3 and 5. Dito ko na naman ilalagay si 5. 
21, we have 3 and 7. Okay? Ano yung kompleto? Ito yung kompleto. So, the GCF is 3. Kapareho rin nang nakuha natin dun sa first method, which is listing method. Now, how about if this is the case? Okay. So, 24, 8, and 12. Single column lang kasi yung mga yon. How about this one? So, the prime factors are 2, 2, 2, and 3. Okay. How about 8? We have 2, 2, and 2. And how about 12? We have 2, 2, and 3. Okay. Pansinin natin na meron, merong dalawang kompletong column. Yan. Therefore, we're going to bring them down and multiply. So, 2 times 2 is now 4. Therefore, the greatest common factor is 4. Another one. How about if this is the case? Um, 12. Okay. Again, list down all of the prime factors. 3, 3, 2, and 5. 3, 2, and 2. Parang walang kompleto, di ba? Pag walang kompletong column, okay, automatic that the GCF is 1. Ulitin ko, pag wala kang column na kompleto sa sinolve mo, automatic that the greatest common factor is 1. Okay, and the third method, ito yung for the pros, yung professional na talaga to, ito yung mental math. Okay. Kahit hindi na magsusolve, ma-identify niya agad-agad yung greatest common factor. 12, 8, 10. Okay. Isipin mo yung pinakamalaking factor kung saan pare-pareho sila. Diba? Pag-iisipin natin, may 1 sila, may 2 sila, meron pa bang 3, 4, 5? Wala na. Therefore, the greatest common factor is 2. Okay. Another. Yung 24, kapag kabisadong kabisado mo na yung multiplication table, madali lamang to. So, 24, 8, and 12. Again, you have to think. Ano-ano kaya yung mga common factors niya? Ha, meron siyang 1, meron din silang 2, meron din 4. Meron pa ba? Wala. So, Ano yung pinakamalaking number na pwede mong i-divide sa kanilang tatlo? Ito yung 4. Okay. However, if you are not still so familiar with the multiplication tables, um, um, go back to listing or go back to prime factorization. Okay? For you to be sure. So it's time for you to solve for the greatest common factor. You may pause the video, then come back for the solution. You may use any method. Kahit anong method na sa inyo ay comfortable. Okay. I know you're done, so let's solve. Ang gagamitin natin ngayon ay yung listing method. So we have 8 and 2, 16 and 1, another pair, 4 and 4. How about 32? We have 1 and 32. We have also 2 and 16, right? We have also 4 and 8. Do we have some more? Lana. How about 40? We have 1 and 40. 10 and 4, 8 and 5, we have also 20 and 2. Now, what are the common factors? We have 1, 2, 
How about four? Yan, four. Meron pa ba? Meron pa. Meron pa eight. Okay. So, what is the greatest? Hmm, so eight. Therefore, the greatest common factor of 16, 32, and 40 is eight. I hope that you got it right. Next set, may you look for the greatest common factor. Again, you may pause the video, then come back later. Okay, now that you're done, we have to try how about prime factorization method. So let's list down the prime factors. And three, nine, prime factors are three and three. Prime factors of 18 are two, three, and three. What are now the complete columns? We have two columns. Three times three is nine. So the greatest common factor of 36, nine, and 18 is nine. Did you get it correctly? I hope so. Did you get the correct answer? Well, I hope so. Okay, and the last, how about for mental math? Mm, 25, 15, and 45. Okay, so let's do mental math. Um, just think of the common factors that they have. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wala na. Therefore, the greatest common factor of 25, 15, and 45 is now 5. Ito yung pinakamalaki na pwede niyong i-divide sa kanilang tatlo. You got it? That's it for today. Watch out for more maths and English lessons. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. Thank you and God bless.